We all know the hassle of a data breach. You know, you got to go change your password, maybe get credit monitoring to make sure that somebody doesn't charge something in your name. And then there are those deep data breaches where detailed personal information is hacked. The kind of breach that you would expect Denver Public Schools would have told its employees about, you know, before the news did. But DPS didn't. Here's Marshall Zellinger. I'm very disappointed that DPS did not reach out to all employees as soon as this happened to protect us and show that they value us. High school math teacher Liz Fant found out about the DPS data breach from the news, a data breach involving names, social security numbers of current and former employees, employee fingerprints, bank account or pay card numbers, student ID numbers, driver's license numbers, passport numbers, and some health plan enrollment information. The district found out about the breach on January 4th, but just notified those impacted through a news release on Friday, along with letters put in the mail. The name of the game in uh, uh, you know, data breaches uh, really is timely notification. When Cole Wist was a Colorado State Representative in 2018, he helped pass into law stronger protections for consumers when data breaches like this happen. That law requires people be notified not later than 30 days after the breach is discovered, with exceptions for the needs of law enforcement and understanding the scope of the breach. There's no reason why there couldn't have been a prompt notification while DPS was investigating the scope of the damage that was done. In a statement, DPS says it complied with all applicable laws in responding to this incident, saying it completed its review on February 8th and sent letters in the mail within 21 days. If February 8th everything was complete, they should have sent out an email February 8th. The district also pointed me to this notification it sent to staff in mid-January, requiring employees to reset their passwords because of, quote, suspicious activity detected on the district's computer network. I would have assumed from that that maybe some of my school information or stuff related to me as a teacher is out there, which is not I'm not really worried about. There was no mention of any of our personal information being compromised. There is another part of that state law that requires districts to notify the attorney general's office no later than 30 days after the breach is known. The AG's office was notified February 17th. That's 44 days from knowing about the breach, and the AG's office tells me it is looking into whether it needs to investigate the, the response, not the breach itself, yeah. but, but telling the AG's office about it. I mean, some of this information was not exactly fresh. How long is DPS holding on to personal information? That's a question I've asked the district, for, for, and which is required under that Cole Wist law, and that's something he thinks is most important, is how long and what is your policy to get rid of people who don't work for you anymore? Yeah. What's your policy to get rid of it, and are you following through on that? He thinks that's most impactful to someone who, yeah, once you're gone, what's happening to my information? Yeah, because that's your risk window, you know, and how many places hold on to your information. Really interesting. Marshall, thank you.